Okay. This is a, again, it's another canvas, which I've painted with black acrylic, and black gesso. I am trying to put the rubber bit back into my ruler. I'll find the center, which just do a little cross like that. And as I explained in the other video, these don't leave a permanent mark. I did find out that when I was trying to do, use pencils and chalks and all sorts of things, nothing really worked as well as this. So I can't remember the lady's name, but thank you to the young lady who um, is on YouTube. I'll find her name and put it in the links, who suggested this because it really does work. So this time I'm using the spiral stencil. Again, I'll leave the link to this as well in the comments, not in the comments, in the description box so that you can buy them. So I can't remember whether it was Wish or Amazon I got them from. I'm pretty sure I got the dotting tools from Amazon or well, some of them is a set anyway but these I honestly can't remember but there you go hope you can see that I don't know if you can there we go you can just about oh there we are okay you can see where it is so we're going to start now the colours that I'm using are, is it Bebeo? Maybe? Pronunciation's not brilliant. But we're going to start with a decent sized dot in the middle. I'm going to use the blue one, which isn't the largest because my yellow is the largest. I have no idea what size these are. I suppose I can have a little go, can't I? They're getting covered in. Um, well, I'm guessing this would be three quarters of a centimetre, so that's like 75 mil. Okay, so I'm going to start with red. Because I always do the rainbow colours, remembering that age old poem about Richard of York. Okay, and that's that one. So I'm going to go, now because these paints are really good, I must admit, I um, I use them straight from the lid. Okay, so we're going to go underneath each swirl with a red dot. Just a couple. Go. Okay. So from there, I'm going to do another one with the other end, just bringing it out. Three. Okay. We'll just start along the line. where we find out that and I've done one too many or something it didn't look right when I was doing it but we'll see now try and do close but not as close as that because those two have run into each other which isn't an issue in that I can actually 
separate them out by putting a little bit of black gesso on them later. Did do it right. Okay, so that's my red. I'll put the lid back on and the orange. These are all paint for wood. Okay, so um, using the slightly smaller one. No, I think I'll go into. That one. I'll do a bigger one on the end of that. Again, don't worry about that little tiny dot there because it will, one, I could possibly put a dot over it. Two. Oh, if it's still there at the end of the painting, then I can just put a little bit of black gesso on it. Okay. Turning it over, we'll use the other end. And we're going to go. Walk the dots round three, four, one, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you do the dot above, reload, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, you just walk the dots round and they do get smaller as you go around. Because these are quite thin, quite a bit thinner than the ones I was using in the last video. Which you may or may not have seen depending on what order I upload these. They're gonna take a bit of editing. Just check I am actually recording, I am. Yes, I have been that person. <laughs> I think I'm recording and I'm not. It's a total departure, this dotting and Mandela's for me. just I just really felt I came across it from Rachel's rocks that's a video you do need to watch she is amazing she does paint rocks but she also does mandalas and various dotting things She's a very talented young lady um, a little bit close with those so they will need separating out later well that was the first time I'd seen them and then we found out what mandalas were like, let's say, at this exhibition that we went to. Okay, so that's my orange. And I need yellow. And this is Naples yellow. Okay, so 
So we'll go for a slightly smaller one. I'm going to do a dot. And just do three round. Because if I do any more, I'm going to join up. Okay. Now I am roughly still following these swirl lines, but obviously you have to make little adjustments because sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller. Spacing, I mean. Because as I said, it's basically a freehand art, and I like art where there's no rules. That's why I always get on well with Bob Ross. Because there's no, well, there's a few rules with that, but not many. And I must admit, it's the only way that I actually get on with acrylics. Not a fan of acrylics usually, but doing these, I find them relaxing and good fun. And I must admit, I've also started, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but arthritis has given me problems in my knee, so I can't run anymore. I'm trying to find something that worked for me. I remembered a friend of mine um, that I met through a business group taught yoga. So I thought I'd give that a go. And I must admit, doing the yoga and doing the mandalas goes hand in hand. Because occasionally we have used the mandala at the meditation section of the Yoga. Now some people can take them, some people can't. Apparently she had some people saying that they made her feel a bit dizzy. But I was just fascinated by them. I, I just couldn't get enough of them. So I thought I'd start painting myself. Look them up on good old YouTube. So what have we got? Richard of York gained green. Yay. I like greens. Now that's a bit of a dull green so I think what I'm going to do is use Old Faithful here which is an old set that I've had from a long long time. It's very nearly finished and it's a, that just says a light green acrylic paint. It was only a cheap paint but for this kind of thing that's what you need. Alright so what should we do now? Do three to <clears throat> might help if I could talk. Two, three to start. Again, following the line. Yep. 
You may not be able to see it, but I can still see the line there. Although I'm fast losing it, because I've just got to the end of it, so. I'm also going to put a few dots there. So I'm doing one in the middle, one, two, three. Okay, so one in the middle, top, two, two, there we go. Just to give it a little bit of a And if you don't reload in between, you do get the natural decrease in the size of the dots. Okay. keep having to push it away from me because I keep pulling it towards me so I do sorry if you do sorry I am sorry if we uh, if I go off screen I apologize okay so that's Richard of York gaining and we need battle now so let's have some blue now I'm going to go for the brighter blue purely because it shows up better on this okay so we'll come back to here Now, let's come here, so if we carry this on, because the other spirals come up out of the middle, so I don't know if I've got, no, I haven't, so I'll just carry this one on then, so we'll go to blue. Bringing it round. I'm doing four this time instead of three. This is where the freehand bit comes in. Okay. Okay, it needs wiping off for that one, but anyway, that's where I am there. And then with the smaller end, I'm going to go back and add four in here, and we'll start a second spiral. Just keep aiming it for the middle of the, ga the gap here. Okay? chat and work. 
and I think it would be a boring video where I just can't I, I do sit and watch people's videos and I'm not criticizing because other people do enjoy it but when they put the music on I'm afraid I just turn the volume off I taught in a school for many many years and the noise levels <laughs> in the school I know value silence so although they go to all this prop you know trouble of putting all this lovely music on for me it's not for me so where are we going now indigo now, I tend to miss indigo because indigo is a blue so we'll go straight to the purple but I'm not going for the dark purple because again, it doesn't show up brilliantly on black. Don't worry about these splashes because they'll disappear. Okay, so. Bring this out. And then when we've done that, we'll take out the other blue, with the purple on top. Carry on the spiral. Okay, so that's that. So now I think we need to do some different shapes in it because we've not done, we've only done dotting. So if I maybe now go back to the red. And with my smaller dotting tool, we'll maybe do Because this is a more liquid acrylic, it's actually swooshing quite well. Okay. 
So I think if we do the orange next. Is going to look a bit more like a firework. What I'm basically doing is near the top, I'm just trying to swoosh this round it. Going fairly close. And I think we can do a yellow one as well. Get this up absolutely covered. Just check we're still recording we are. I've seen so many videos where people Think they're recording and the camera's cut out. I'm a bit paranoid. So don't worry if they're not all the same length, it doesn't matter. I'm going to run into trouble there because that's... That spiral's attached. So, instead of going through all the colours again, or maybe start them on top of the end one, which will take me away from all the troubles. Sorry about that, that was the, um, the Hermes driver. Not that I thought we had anything that was going to be delivered, but it did. I'm going to try and do slightly bigger swooshes on here. And this is the top. Okay. Uh, orange next. I might be using, am I using the right end or using the small end? I could use the slightly bigger one. And the fire's going out, I can hear it. But as we're nearly lunchtime and hubby should be home. Or maybe not. on the weather, traffic, what work he's got to do. I'm 
There we go. I do like doing these swooshes, they're very, very, very nice. Really need to give this a go because honestly, it's so therapeutic. So relaxing. There we go. Okay. And then the yellow one at the end. Right. Oh, that was a big one. Oops. Nope, that's too much on that. Wipe it off. Put a little bit more paint on because I want these ones a bit bigger, but I'm not finding I've got so much control. Just listen to that. I hope everybody's safe where they are. <laughs> Because it's certainly been, we were lucky, we didn't even get any power cuts or anything. We only had one moment where the electricity, as we said, blinked. It didn't go off properly, we didn't even know how your cooker clock always needs resetting. <laughs> Ours didn't, so that's how little the electricity went off. It was a very, very quick flash on this. There. Okay. <laughs> I really like that. Very colourful. So, what else can we do? Right, I think from each of these we should do a little Just coming up like the end of a sword, you know, that bit that guards your hand. Probably find it's called something like a hand guard. <laughs> Not that I would know, I don't fence, but it just fills in a few little gaps. There we go. It does mean that I can't do anything <clears throat> to the purple one. Oh. Okay, so when they stop being circular, that's when you need to wipe.
I think that's filling that in just nicely. It also takes away from any little imperfections that might be there. I hope you can still see this. I do apologise if I'm bringing it out of... I'll check it on, obviously, when I edit it. Okay, that's that one. And then maybe the purple. Could maybe just do. Just on the long ones. Don't want anything else down in the blue. But do you think I need to do something to link some of the colours? Just to mix them up a bit. Going from in between this one, these last two dots, to that dot. That just, oh, it's going to be a big long one. Can I do that? Yeah, there we go. So from these two dots to that one. Again, it just brings that swirl, sort of swirling motion round. Keeps the movement. should do one from there down. Maybe. Let's go for it. Yeah, that looks okay. So it's from underneath the orange to the purple. Underneath the orange to the purple. Underneath the orange. Ooh. the purplish
lost, sorry, I just lost what I was doing there for a minute. I just wondered if I'd made a mistake and gone to the wrong one, but I don't think I did. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think I'm going to do anything more to that. Should I do little dots at the end? I think I might actually do little dots at the end of the these ones. Where's my little baby? There we go. So if I, oh no, that's not tiny. There's tiny, the little white one, look. Okay, so let's get the red. A little dot at the end of the red. Okay, that's the red one done. So I'm going to put the red pot away now. Just checking I'm still recording. <laughs> then the orange one. the orange done. I'm going to put the orange away now so that I stop faffing. And the yellow one. Oh, I missed an orange dot. Put the orange away. Yeah, maybe got some orange on my hand because I seem to have an awful lot of. I so say I'll go over the the ones with the black gesso. You won't see them. that is going to be me and I think I will sign off in the purple in the corner okay that's me I will just so you can see it does work um, white gesso, black gesso, there we go, just so you can see it works, I'll just quickly, Oof, I don't make such a mess, this one is Windsor and Newton black gesso, and you literally blend them all away, and when it dries, you won't see them. You won't see the brush marks either because Windsor and Newton ones are really good. 
I used to only buy the Bob Ross, which was really expensive. Um, but you do when you're first starting out, don't you? But now I've found the Windsor and Newton. And the little bit there that I've missed in the first place. There. And there you are. All gone. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Please don't forget that if you enjoyed the video, leave some comments. Um, like, share, tell your friends and hopefully we can all either do some more mandalas or we can go back to, well not back, but we can do some normal art and um, just let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.